Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we uh, have changes coming up to the Windows Insider program. If you're part of the Insiders, um, or if you're thinking of becoming a Windows Insider for Windows 11, and, uh, well, new and some changes happening. So here's what's happening. So right now, um, as we speak, as a change is not yet happening, but it's soon to happen, we have a three rings in the insider rings. We have the Windows, uh, the dev channel, which is the more advanced with the latest features, but also the least stable one that you usually can't get out of. And we have the release. Then we have the beta. Beta is kind of divided into two rings right now, which is kind of weird for testing out Windows 11 features. And we have release preview, which also divided into two categories, one for Windows 10, one for Windows 11, with what is the latest features that are just about to be released for the mainstream. Well, Microsoft has decided to add a Canary channel now. So what's all about? The Canary channel will actually be now the new channel that will have the latest features as soon as they are available. That means if they make a new feature in Windows and it seems to be working, um, they're just going to ship it so that you can play with it. That also means highly unstable builds possibility. So that is something to check out. There will be limited to no documentation coming from there. And uh, basically, that's what's going to happen with the Canary channel. The Canary channel is going to be, if you want to have the latest features to test out, the ring to go to. Now, the dev channel will be rebooted in a new way. It will have new ideas. It will have some of the features that, of course, have been tested in the Canary first, um, but that have more um, possibilities of being future, future uh, features where the Canary channel features might actually never show up and will have um, still low stability, but it will still be better than a Canary that will have extremely rough um, you know, apps and changes. There's no documentation on the Canary, so when they're, they're sent out, you know, you're on your own. No, no change log or nothing. The dev channel will have its change log and information about what's new. Then, of course, there will be the beta channel, which is much more stable and has changes that will be, and that's not changed, by the way, changes that will be coming eventually to the future of Windows. And the release preview, which is test before release, basically, of what is happening. So uh, a new ring coming up, and that will show up, of course, if you're an insider. You'll simply go to your Start menu, go into your Settings, go into the Windows Updates, and if you're an insider, you'll simply go into Windows Insider Programs to check the rings. And in those rings, in the list, you will have Canary, Dev, Beta, and Release Preview. And it is now available. I see that it's just... just it wasn't there even half an hour ago, actually, before I made the video. So I was about to show you and say, hey, it's not there yet. It is now there. Um, what's the release rate? Canary Channel promises a release rate that is higher than Dev, but it's not going to be, if you're an insider for the Edge browser, for example, it's not going to be a daily release. But there it's, it promises faster and more frequent updates. More chances also of broken apps and broken of having problems. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, for now, I'm not moving to Canary. I will keep this machine into Dev. Why? Because it's one of the main machines I use a lot. So um, I'll prefer the possible a little more st stable builds and see what's going to happen. And we'll see what happens with Canary Channel over time. And who knows? Maybe I'll move on. So you'll have four choices now when you are on the uh, Insider program. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching my videos.